Good morning and welcome to day four of our 30-day prayer challenge. Today, let us begin with the modern version of the covenant prayer. Please pray with me. I am no longer my own, but yours. Put me to what you will. Place me with whom you will. Put me to doing. Put me to suffering. Let me be put to work for you or set aside for you. Praised for you or criticized for you. Let me be full, let me be empty. Let me have all things, let me have nothing. I freely and surrender, I freely and fully surrender all things to your glory and service. And now, O wonderful and holy God, creator, redeemer, and sustainer, you are mine and I am yours. So be it. And let the covenant which I have made on earth, let it also be made in heaven. Amen. Today, as I open my Bible, it turned to James chapter 1, the first 11 verses. And a couple things jumped out at me. As I said, as I'm reading through right now, I'm just trying to be aware of individual words or phrases that really seem to speak to me and resonate at the moment. I'm not really trying to do a study right now. I'm not trying to understand more. I'm just trying to see what God is trying to say to me out of a particular passage of the Bible right now. And so there were a couple things that jumped out to me at um, James chapter 1. The first thing was it said that the byproducts of faith are perseverance, confidence, and humility. Now, I don't really think about my faith as being a way to gain benefits for myself. I believe my faith is a way of being connected to God and um, just being surrounded by God's love and grace all the time. But this combination, perseverance, confidence, and humility, I think that's a really powerful thing that as I grow in my faith, as I grow in my connection to God, I'm going to have more perseverance. I'm going to be able to stick it out when times are tough better. I'm going to have more confidence to do what God is asking me to do. I'm going to have the humility to set myself aside to really look at the people that God is placing in front of me. And so I think when I looked at these three things, it just really showed me how strong and what an impact the faith can have in my life, that um, there will be all these other changes that happen to me. I will be um, have greater endurance and I will have more confidence to be able to do what God is asking me to do. Um, James goes on to talk about the tests in our lives being occasions for joy. And I have to say, that's a hard one. I know a bunch of people right now who are feeling that they're being tested. And I'm not sure they're really seeing these as moments of joy, occasions that they can feel joy. Um, so this one's a really challenging phrase for me. Um, the writer of James says, let this endurance complete its work so that you may be fully mature, complete, lacking in nothing. So yeah, I can see where I've the endurance gets us through the test, but I think this is a place where I would really just need to rely on the Holy Spirit to get me through the test. Um, cause there's some folks that really, the tests they're facing are hard. Um, they're really rough. And, um, um, I think the writer here is trying to be encouraging, but I think this is one of those places where we just have to use our faith to rely on God to get us through. And the writer does in this section finish with that thought that God gives without a second thought so that when we go to God and when we ask for those things that we need, God gives with no second thoughts. God is abundant grace and God is waiting for us to come and ask for what we need and God is ready to stand by us um, to help us get through whatever tests we are facing in our lives. So today, just as the covenant prayer is all about setting myself aside to be doing and ready for whatever God calls me to do, I think the writer of James is going in that same direction, that there are benefits of being faithful to God, but you know, there's going to be tough times in our lives that we have to get through, and it is better to get through them with God than without God. Hope this is helpful for you today, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Take care.